G'day viewers, my name is Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world. And lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists do what they do. G'day viewers and welcome to Colour in Your Life in New Zealand. Now the team and I have come over to New Zealand, we're going to be spending a couple of weeks here and we're circumnavigating the South Island of New Zealand to get some of the great artists of New Zealand onto the show. We're going to have a fantastic time and as you can see, look at this country. It's just amazing. So we're going to wake our way all the way around the bottom of the South Island and see some of these incredible people. So come along for the ride, it's going to be fantastic. Well, good day viewers and welcome back to Colour in Your Life. We're actually in New Brighton in Christchurch in New Zealand. We are. And with a very talented lady, Ruth Reed. Welcome to the show. Very pleased to meet you, Graham, and Thank welcome to my studio and gallery. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Now, Ruth has a history of art in your family. Mm. Your dad and your sisters are artists as well, a long yes. way, way back. And you've obviously had a great love for art and the natural beauty of New Zealand. Yes, I do. Um, you've got a certificate in art. Now, you're going to have to tell me again because it's it's Aoraki. <laughs> Aoraki Polytechnic, there yes, in it's, South it's, Canterbury. It's the, it's the language difference, I must admit. <laughs> so that was in 87 that you actually got that certificate, That's wasn't right, it? yes. And you've obviously had a great love of art all the way through that. Yes. And a lot of what you do is about tramping, which is what they say in New Zealand as far yes, as hiking yeah, is you, concerned. That's right, yeah. And then you go into the mountains and then obviously uh, take photographs and capture all of these amazingly beautiful scenes of your beautiful country. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I head into the bush, we call it going bush, and tramping, and I take my camera, it's always across my shoulder, and I stop all the time, a shot here, a shot there, and I even take a sketchbook with me, so. It's fantastic, yeah. and I'm just the country. It's so beautiful. I mean, we saw some uh, places the other day where the lakes look like they're glass. Yes. I mean, it was just magnificent yes, the reflections. Yeah. And also, obviously, um, Christchurch had a very unfortunate situation happen to it a couple of years ago with the earthquake. But instead of sitting around and sort of moping, you said, how can I use my creativity to create something that's great for everybody here? And you actually painted a hundred paintings in a hundred days. Tell yeah, me a little bit about that days, as well. hundred days straight and <laughs> yes, I survived <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else. But oh, uh, no, I set myself that challenge and uh, it actually created a lot of publicity. The radio station first of all uh, rang me and they did a live interview so that was pretty awesome. And from there, CTV even did a snippet for their news. So, sure. yes, by this time I was about halfway into the hundred days, uh, there was a lot of publicity. So, as my son said to me, uh, there's going to be a lot of people know if you don't manage to finish this, Mum. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, but I think it's a great effort under any circumstances. It was not easy, yeah, but, but it was uh, satisfying and it has really inspired quite a few artists. So. Um, Yes, we'll carry on with um, doing the odd challenge. Not a hundred again, yeah. I might say. But well, that's I mean, and, and talking about inspiration, that's one of the reasons we're with with Ruth today is that you, you know part of your legacy as an artist is to really uh, create inspiration for people through mm. right brain creativity, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got you've got groups of people that come and meet every month at your home. You know, you you're really one of those people. A very very well organised lady, not just an artist but a businesswoman as well. So it's very very difficult to find that combination, but you're one of those people that is that also, which is just great. But anyway, Thank you. we're going to do a beautiful painting today, which is one of the beautiful photographs that you've taken of the area, and uh, we're going to get stuck into that right now, and we want you guys to come along for the ride. Yep, New welcome. Zealand, magnificent country. Let's yes. see if we can put it on canvas now. Okay. That'll be you. great. Let's go for it. So today I'm going to take this 
small canvas mm -hmm. and um, do a scene from the Catlins, which is the most beautiful area in South New Zealand on the south east coast. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to mark in around about where the horizon will be, and I need to put this on reasonably accurately because water levels need to be straight. You know, you don't need to do a lot of preparation, but this is one thing that I like to have an idea even before I put the paint on to start with. And I'm using these background Matisse colours which I think are lovely vibrant colours. Now I've pre-mixed my colours today because I knew where I was going to be going with this particular painting. So do you often do, you often do that? Yes I do. Yeah. yeah, I mix a few of them. Of the classic New Zealand blues. Some people from other countries find sort of rather stunning because they really are very, very blue. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. Skies. I mean, the whole landscape is full of blue. It's, it's incredible. Right, and I'm using nice wide two inch brushes to get started with. What I'm trying to do is, this is a dawn shot, and uh -huh. it's, so it's really quite a dark picture. Yeah. Um, with the focus coming through here on this, this part where the central light is just starting to emerge. Now I took the photo that I'm going to be working from at about 5.30 in the morning on in January, so uh, the light is only just starting to come. Okay. Right, so making sure I do those little corner pieces because no one ever wants to see those afterwards. So I think actually preparing your colours like that, you know, obviously you can you can get a mixture of certain colours with these products, but there's obviously there's a balance of colours that you specifically like. I think it's a good idea what you've done there. Thank you. And I noticed by sitting in your studio, Ruth, is that you have literally a, a library, a really extensive <laughs> library on art books as well. It's just, it's obviously, I mean, I think it's very, very important, obviously, education, but I think you've sort of gone overboard with it. <laughs> just, I, don't, I don't think there's a book on art that's not in here. Uh, I've got all the very best ones, I think. Yeah, no, it's a fabulous no, collection. Really well, is. I've made this studio, which is separate to the gallery, mm -hmm. just so that I can have it dedicated to enjoying my free time when I'm out here. Yeah, beauty about this is, I mean, you're all virtually right on the beach at uh, New Brighton, <laughs> yeah. but you've got your own gallery and your own studio, so it's just great to have people drop in and um, purchase your work and talk to you about creativity. And It's yeah. an easy to find place, Graham. Yes, it's right on uh, Marine Parade, so yeah. the gallery's open by appointment, and when it is open, mm -hmm. And the signs out at the gate. Come in, has, and, it come has, in and invest. Yes, yes it, or else by appointment. So you've got a the brush that you've got there now is one of those brushes that sort of just lends itself to being very, very smooth and pliable. Yes, yes, they're um, the golden brushes from Das. They're fantastic. But look at that, you can just see that just with the with the technique that you've used there, that really soft gradation that you're able to get. I suppose when you've got landscape like New Zealand and you know unlike Australia where you literally have to cross for days and days to get to a location I mean you can drive for a day here and be in the most beautiful country on the planet. Oh thank you very much yes well I think New Zealand's fabulous I mean I'm fairly well travelled and I've uh, I still think New Zealand's scenery is second to none. Mm, it is glorious absolutely. Mind you Australia's pretty good too I've been over there maybe a dozen times one reason or another say that, how can I best describe it, you're a, you're a hands-on woman. <laughs> um, from, from what I know of you and looking at your work, you've literally trekked out into the mountains. And I can remember at one stage you said that you had actually built a snow cave <laughs> yes. up in the hills and you and three of your companions you know, basically spent time up in the mountains and just amazing. And you've actually painted some of those pictures that are part of those memories that you have in the past. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing really, isn't it? That, um, that at the time I hadn't thought about that I was going to paint them, but mm -hmm. um, now I just love the fact that I've got extra time and uh, I can go back and revisit all those things because I've always taken lots of photos. Right, so I'm just putting in that little tinge of 
orange, uh -huh. not too, too overpowering, but sure. just where it comes through. And that's just hitting where that horizon line is that I marked before. And this part is actually going to be where the water is. Okay. So I can actually start to put the brush on its side a little bit. Yeah. And it already gives that illusion of water. Okay, so this is just a continuation of the sky, so becoming water. So the colours that I've got up here mm -hmm. will reflect down here, and that, that is really what water is about. So remembering that it's uh, early morning, very early morning, and that will do it for the, this stage. Right, so now the next stage, that's dried enough, I mm -hmm. think. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take some masking tape and mark across my horizon line so that I keep that nice level area that I was talking about earlier. It needs a fairly firm push in so that the dark colour that I'm going to put on next doesn't bleed through underneath. Now this is a, um, an impression of these bushes or across it and I'll go back in and make it a bit more interesting but because of these liquid acrylics they uh, still allow a little bit of the under colour to come through. There's a few little trees that poke up. We've got some rather large beautiful trees in New Zealand as I'm sure you've been seeing. Not like those beautiful eucalypts but our native bush is uh, still stunning in its own right. And I'll just keep on working the way and I'll work along here which is a sort of a lower horizon mark and it's all just scrub over that side. So once I've got where I'm going, this, this um, area here which I'll develop later on is all lovely reeds and uh, it's a wetland area. So this is Tautuku Wetlands, mm -hmm. a lovely Maori name. All right, so this is dried enough now for me to take this masking tape off. I can um, very carefully take it off so that it doesn't rip. You do have to wait for that to dry well enough. You've put the fun back into art, Ruth. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah. That's what's wonderful about it. If it's not fun, then yeah. Not doing something right. There's that lovely horizon in the distance. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm now going to put some more masking tape on because I want to keep this little wee thin strip up here. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that off here. So I'm just putting it down very, very carefully to preserve that little bit and rubbing my finger along it again. And we're good to go again. So now I'm going to work on this water across here. Instead of doing that dabbing motion, well it's the same brush, I need to pull it side, across it, which keeps that flat horizontal look. So this is a reflection, and it's not exact. It just needs to have the impression. And if I'm careful, I should be able to preserve the odd little bit of that colour in there. That has to dry for a little while before I can take that off or I'm likely to take the paint underneath. So I'll just leave that one for a moment. Okay. So now that's had time to dry and uh, once again carefully taking it off. Just ready to go. Preserved it. Look at that. I think it's important not just to keep the horizon line, it gives a sense of distance, the little mm -hmm. light bit. All right, so now we can start working on this part. Okay. So I'm about to work on these reeds. This part here, which goes around the corner a bit, I want to just keep that a little bit smooth on the edge. So I'll have quite a short motion of the uh, up and down on this bit because it's in the distance and that helps to keep it in the distance and you'll see that it's actually starting to leave just a little bit of the under colour uh -huh. which gives a bit of reflection even though it's 
very, very early morning and there's almost no light at all. And then I'm going to get even braver and change the brush. A good old rough house painting brush. I always like to just check to make sure there's no loose bristles or any little bits of dried paint sitting on it. Sometimes I've got a bit of a flick first. And now I'm starting to bring bigger ones down and you'll notice it's just slightly darker so coming. It does give the illusion of a bit of distance. Can you see now where it's just reflecting up off onto the water? Suddenly you've got reeds without overworking it. And suddenly that dawn is starting to jump out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Just the end of that brush, it's perfect for it, isn't it? It just gives that impression, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. Without having painted all of those reeds in any fussy fan manner. Yeah, and I like the fact that it looks like some of them are just still poking through. There's a little bit of light on them. Well, it is a wetlands area, this mm. Tautuku wetlands, so the water is all actually under this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with all of the things that you do in, in art, that you've got a, a June spectacular coming up every June. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so tell me, tell me a bit more about that. Yes, well, as if I haven't challenged myself enough already with the uh, 100 paintings, because the 100 paintings in 100 days seem to inspire a lot of artists, I've um, agreed to doing a thing, I'm calling it Join Us in June. Mm -hmm. And it's for arts people to join me and I'm going to, and there's already half a dozen or a dozen or more, and every year in June we plan to do 30 paintings in 30 days. Okay. So, of course it's our winter in June, so it's an inside sort of month for quite a few people, but if others are prepared to brave the elements outside, well, there's nothing to stop you doing it inside or outside. I was going to say, it looks like it's going to be an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine won't be all inside because I like to do some out. Sure. One really fun project that you did, which I thought was quite fascinating, where you had 80 artists paint uh, a small section of a John Singer Sargent painting, they were 10 inches by 10 inches. Yes, and yes. Each yeah. artist, <laughs> each of the 80 artists had to yeah, do yeah. one sex in that painting to join it all together. I think that's a sensational oh goodness, idea. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. So that yeah. only happened um, a couple of months ago. And uh, that, that was another New Zealand artist who's uh -huh. internationally well known, Richard Robinson. Yes. And uh, it was his initiative. And I dare say you will be seeing that very soon, or it'll be in International Artist magazine. Oh, it's such a great idea, but I just, there's so much, I mean, you've only got your little section and it's its just, you've got to do your best to make it look like that part to make up the whole. Yes, yeah. yeah. Wonderful idea. It's great. And Richard also set up a map of the world, one of those Google map things, and we all put in where we were. So once we started to see that we were in Peru and America and England and Australia and New Zealand. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> it um, became even more fun that we all managed to do it. Crossing the globe with creativity. Yes, yeah. Can't beat that. So that'll be out soon on a, uh, a big format where we can buy the poster. Mm -hmm. And I believe Richard's going to have it available for people to buy. And it looks like a wonderful patchwork quilt. It's really exciting. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that's going to be for in aid of some charity. I'm not sure whether he's chosen that one yet, but... Uh, so, so as you can see now, I've worked along this, you know, and I can touch it up a little bit. I don't want to go too much into that bit because it's sort of in the back. And suddenly that water is just the stillness of the water, the clarity of the air, Tautuku wetlands in the Catlins area, uh -huh. and just a little bit of movement. Um, I might touch it with just a few little strokes through here but you're starting to see where we're headed with it. This looks great. All right, as you can see, it's uh, dried off enough now, so I'm just going to sign it, lift it off, move that back a bit, and choose one of the colours that's not too strong. 
not too, too close to the edge so that when I photograph it, mm -hmm. it's within the frame. But there we go. That didn't take me too long to do. It was, it's a simple landscape, but stunning in its simplicity. Mm. The, the yeah, and, it's, and, it, and it really is. I mean, the technique that you've shown here today is just one that, uh, you know, it's just fascinating how quickly it can come about and how effective it actually is as well. Now, in saying beautiful areas like this, you also take people trekking to some of these really beautiful and iconic places in New Zealand to do plein air painting. So I think if anybody really wanted to be part of this, and it's just such a great outdoor adventure with creativity as well, that they should really get in touch with you. So what is your website address? RuthReadArt.com. We've got wonderful areas to tramp into and that we can take our paints in, do sketching or do the full painting. Okay, so she's all finished now and uh, I've got one more thing to do and that is to take it outside and spray it with a protective cover. Okay, so here we have it. The finished painting, Tautuku Wetlands in the Catlands, which is the South Island of New Zealand. Fantastic piece of work there, Ruth. It really is. And Thank you. Amazing. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. I mean, this is just a fantastic technique. And for all of those people out there that have watched what Ruth does today, once again, your website is? RuthReadArt.com. And if you want to be part of what Ruth does with this trekking, which I really highly advise to do, because this country is unreal. The, the scenery is just beautiful. Thank you. Come and see Ruth and she'll take you out into the wilderness. I think it'll be amazing. Thank now, you. if you want to see some of Ruth's work as well, because we're going to insist that Ruth has her work on our website, you can come to colourinyourlife.com.au and see what she has in there. We're selling a lot of paintings in the gallery and shop these days. So if you are artists and you want to sell your work, because it's, the, the word has spread, literally, it's spreading across the planet now, come in and put your artwork in there, because it's, just, it's a fabulous place. Tons and tons of people in there. Also, you can come into Facebook, at Colour in Your Life. Come and see us in Facebook and like us there as well. And we're going to continue to move on. It's been fabulous. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you for coming. It's an, been great an amaz to meet you. Amazing country and we've had a really, really great day with you. But we're going to head off again. But remember, next time we see each other, make sure you put some colour in your life. We'll see you then, guys. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. See <laughs>